this is the uh, beginning of the parade. We, um, it's bonkers this, right? So we've just come along in for a race. I've got, I'm putting my bike into wet mode because slick tires on a public road, we're not going fast. Um, the, uh, I haven't had it on tire warmers. Like the last thing I want to do is be that guy who spins up the rear and punts myself off on the public road the day before the race. So keep that nice and safe. But they've closed the roads for this. This is um, Francorchamps, the, uh, the local town. So the, the track is massive. Um, the Spa Francorchamps track. It's a really big track. It's between about three or four villages, but it kind of links them. Um, and it's smaller than it used to be, it used to be much bigger. So this is the day before the race, we have um, a parade which we get to ride on the public road from the track to Spa Town. And it's quite, you know, it's big country, we're doing 130 miles an hour there. Uh, it's a phenomenal experience, it was really, really cool. 60 other races, well 60 other teams of races, so 108, up to 180 riders-ish probably. And it's Tom and Matt, uh, we, were, we really loved it. It's a brilliant, brilliant experience, this. So here we are, cruising along, 70-ish miles an hour, six gear, 6,000 rev, engine temperature's good, nothing to report, we haven't been riding fast on the road, gear position sensor fails. Like, I don't know how many I've had on this bike, it's only got 1,000 miles on it, I think I've had three, and they fail like this at the weirdest times it's like uh, bizarre so anyway that's more excitement on the gear position sensor front so this is now just the final run into town uh, what a beautiful day it was for the ride and um, just a, a really surreal experience we weren't expecting people to be out on the street and um, it was just mega really really made the race weekend feel really special um never done anything like this before and uh we thought it was gonna be mickey mouse but actually it was really really good fun so here we are rolling in spa town it was such a surreal experience like you know there's people on the street we literally just turned up to dick around in an endurance race and they've shut the roads, um, there's a police escort, all the, you know, it's not, you know, the biggest crowd puller in the world ever, is it? But as a rider, as, as an experience, it was pretty cool and pretty amazing. Um, and, you know, the spa town, as you can see, is beautiful. Um, what is it, a seven minute drive on the motorway? Look at these guys, high fives. I'm doing 20 mile an hour high fives here. They, uh, they seem to love them anyway. Um, and then there's quite a good bunch of people in the town centre. This is it now, we're rolling in. We are pretty fortunate we're not right in the centre where it's really busy. We're near the outskirts, we're just by the casino. Popped in there, had some steak for dinner and a couple of glasses of wine. And the sun was shining, it was an absolutely amazing experience. And here we are, we are on the way home now. We've had our briefing, which was brilliant. Here you go, burnouts. Everyone loves a burnout, don't they? They're the best things in the world. Um, that was just a mini burnout. I think this guy on our left, just off screen, he's gonna do uh, some attempted burnouts, but they're mega, aren't they? Everyone loves a burnout. Um, we just had a briefing in town, which, right, we're in Belgium. They predominantly speak French, so, They've done the briefing in French, as you'd expect, and then they did it in, I think, German. And then somebody said a few words in English at some point during it. We didn't really gain anything from it, um, but we somehow... Well, I'm not going to spoil what happens in the race. I won't say anything about the race. Um, but we're on our way home now. We've had a lovely evening in a spa. Food in Belgium is great. We had lovely steaks um, and a couple of glasses of wine. Um, and then uh, jump back on the bikes after the briefing for the, the return trip home. And it's just more of the same, cruising through the Belgian countryside and taking in the, the scenery and everything that goes along with it. And just as we get out of town, we'll um, speed the video up again and uh, get through the countryside and back to the circuit. And there's going to be a cheeky little 
bit of skids in Franco Champ because everyone loves a skid as well and uh, they're just good fun aren't they? Here we go, we're back to see the best skid of the whole journey, 60 mile an hour approach. <laughs> I think that was a crowd pleaser of the main event. And then this, what this shows obviously is, you know, racing bikes isn't just about tearing through rubber tires, tearing through petrol and generally just wasting money. It's very much about culture and appreciating other countries and what they offer us. <laughs> 